viewers you're welcome to my youtube video today as you can see on the screen from the question paper i'll be showing you how to convert drawing in oblique view which is drawn usually at 45 degrees to the horizontal to an isometric view drawn at 30 degrees to the horizontal both shapes are solid so the one you can see on the screen is a solid shape drawn in 3d okay and then the one I'm going to draw to is a solid shape, okay? So without wasting time, I will take you through it. The most useful tool for me here is this set square. It's called 30 by 60 degrees. So this end of the set square is 60 degrees, and this end is 30. So I will be using this end uh, for most of my projections, while I use this ruler as my guideline. So the ruler will stand in for me as a T-square. Okay, so without wasting time, I will draw the two angle of inclination. Now I'm trying to ensure that this ruler aligns with this line, the boundary line I've drawn. Because this boundary line, this one was drawn, this line was drawn at a given distance from this line to act as a form of guideline. So if this line is not always parallel, any line I draw at the top of this, I will not get the required uh, projection angle there will be an alteration and the lines subsequent lines will not be parallel so to avoid that i have to be careful now i will be carrying out my construction with this h grade pencil h grade pencil okay so you can see i've drawn this at 30 degrees i'm still ensuring that this line is fixed i don't want any form of alteration so i'll project this other end still at 30 degrees okay now that i've done that this end is 30 millimeters so i'll measure 30 millimeters thirty millimeters then from this end too i'll measure 30 millimeters as you can see from the oblique view but there is five five at the edge so i'll mark five Five millimeters, 20, that's 25, and then five millimeters. So now that I've done that, I can now project it upwards. Okay. So I'll take this one up. Always ensure that the tip of your pencils are sharp. Otherwise, you can use a clutch pencil. Get the lead that suits your taste. For construction, get a H-grade lead. Either H, 2H, 3H, as the case may be. Then for outline, use your HB-grade pencil. Okay, to project this other end, I'll move down here so that I can see the edge of my set square as I carry out the projection. So now that I've gotten that, the thickness of this end is 10 millimeters. So I'll leave 10. So if this is my zero, this will be 10 millimeters. Okay. So while I'm here, I will align my set square again. Then I'll tilt this. Always make sure that you can see your set square is, I mean, your guideline, guide ruler, which is the one standing in for my T square. Make sure it's properly aligned. It helps to minimize error. Okay. Now, this other end, I'll take it this way. This point two, I'll do the same. This point, I will do same. From this edge, I will do same. Now that I've done that, I was told this thickness is ten millimeters. So I will make mark ten millimeters. So if this is my zero, this will be ten. Okay. So with my 10 millimeters, I'll do the needful 
everything I'm drawing, I'm using the 30 degrees end of the set square. Take note. So I'll take this one this way. Then from here, I'll draw a line, a perpendicular line, this way. Then from this end, I'll take it. So I'm done with that groove on the diagram. The next thing is to mark, let me take this to the extreme end. So what I need to do now from this end, I'm going to mark 30 millimeters, okay? 30 millimeters. So if this is my zero, it's 10, 20, 30. If you like, you can start from this end. I'm comfortable using any, any of the calibrations, provided I know the dimension. Take note that all these dimensions are in millimeters. Depending on the one that is convenient for you, or the country you are operating from. Some countries use inches, some maybe centimeters. But for this drawing, I'll be using millimeters. Okay? Then I'll take it this way. So if this is 10, and this entire distance is length is 30 millimeters, so 10 when I take 10 up, that will be equivalent to this groove. Then this distance, I was not given. But looking at the diagram, it makes sense to make it 10 millimeters and the thickness of this topmost part, 10 millimeters too. Okay? So for that singular reason, I'm going to mark 10 millimeters here. If this is 0, 10, 20, 30. Okay? 0, 10, 20, 30. So I'll mark 10 millimeters and another 10 millimeters okay so while i'm here i'll try to get the using this 10 i'll just complete this other end this way so now that i've gotten the point of intersection of the two lines i can take this one to the other end i can take it this way okay then from this other end, I can project it this way because I know this to be. So this is my extreme end, so I can take it this way. 30 millimeters. Can you see that? 30. 30 millimeters. So from this end, I will take it this way. So I've done that, then I'll project the point of intersection down. So I've done that. Then this other end of the drawing, this first part, I'll take it this way and take this one down. So at the point of intersection, I can join my diagrams together I can join this end to this end okay try as much as possible to ensure that your t-square or your ruler whichever one you are using as a horizontal guide should always be horizontal otherwise your lines won't align then i'll locate the middle of um, this the middle but i was told from this end i'm using 15 now, if you look at this entire length, ten twenty. So since I'm using fifteen, I'm expected to stop somewhere around here. So what I need to do is to project. Then I'll mark the middle. The middle of thirty is fifteen. This is fifteen. So I'll take my 15 a little bit up. This 15 up, I mean this way, and the middle of 30 up that way. And then at the point of 
intersection that will mark the end of the groove okay the v groove given from the diagram so you can see the point of intersection so i can take it a, a little bit in If I take it this way, remember this thickness applies to this too. So I'll mark 10 millimeters. So this is my 10 millimeters. So the drawing becomes pretty easy. So I'll just join this point to this point, and then this point to this point. But I won't complete it because, yeah, I will take it this way. Now, a mistake has been made here. I don't know if you've noticed the mistake. The mistake is such that my diagram was supposed to be done. Uh, I was supposed to use the point of intersection of this five here to join this bottom. So that was a mistake. So that's why it's always good to use your construction line. If I had used outline, it would leave a mark. But because I've been drawing, my drawing is, I've been using construction line, the H grade pencil, it's not that much visible. So this is my five. Okay. So now I can join this point to this five. And then this point to this other end. Okay. It makes sense. Then I'll join this to this. That way, too, a mistake has been made from this end. Can you figure the mistake? I hope so. So this is 5 millimeters. There should be a 5 millimeters groove from this end. So I'll mark 5 millimeters. This 5. And then I'll complete my drawing. Okay? 5. So from this 5 millimeters end, I can join this end to this end. Okay, that way, now with what I've done, I'm through with my drawing. All I need to do is to use my HB grade pencil to show the visible part of my drawing. Okay, this is in it. This is a a typical example of an H grade pencil, but it's in a clutch form, so I just inserted the lead into the clutch pen and I'll carry out my drawing. So I'm just showing you the main drawing with an outline don't make the mistake of erasing your construction lines they are very very important it tell it will go a long way to tell the examiner you did the drawing the way you should otherwise they may think you did some things you are not supposed to do so mere leaving your construction line will validate your drawing You can see the main drawing is becoming more visible with the outline, okay?
so you can see the drawing is coming out the way it should while the construction lines are faint they are not that much visible So that brings me to the end of the diagram. This was the illustration I was making earlier. I was given this dimension from the, the question paper, as you can see. I'm to convert the oblique view shown in figure C to isometric view. So this distance is 10 millimeters. So since here to here is 30, I can see here is 10, 10, 10. I wasn't given this distance, so I just assumed they are 10, 10. So completing it with this 10, it makes it 30. So this angle of inclination is at 30 degrees to the horizontal to this horizontal so if it were to be an oblique view this place would be perpendicular to the horizontal and this other end will be at 45 degrees so that brings me to the end of this drawing i'm going to show you some other types of drawing in oblique view and then the one drawn in orthographic view you'd either, using either first angle or third angle projection in my subsequent video see you the next time cheers